People, Briz Breezy, the big pyro is at it again, man. All right. Now, Briz Breezy, right, was performing at the Lovers and Friends Festival, Usher Festival, after giving Usher the beat of his lifetime, bro. Listen, according to the reports, man, Briz Breezy gave Usher a whooping that his mama didn't give him. That's how bad it was. All right. So after whooping on Usher, <laughs> he performed at Usher's festival the next day. But Briz Breezy couldn't just relax. He couldn't just chill. He couldn't just perform, hopped off stage. All right, he couldn't just bit back and boo. Nah, he had to get in some trouble. All right, so apparently Briz Breezy, right, got into another altercation at Usher's festival, bro. Let's take a look at the footage. <laughs> According to the reports, man, Briz Breezy was tweaking, right? That man Booger was sweeter than honey, man. Booger Sugar was in full effect. Now, it was unclear what the altercation was about or why Chris Brown was tweaking. But to me, it doesn't matter. Like, that don't matter at all. You see, self-awareness is probably the most important human trait. Chris Brown knows how he's being perceived at the moment. He knows he has a lot to lose, including his career. Because his career ain't, like, he's not a superstar no more. Like, Chris Brown ain't on a Michael Jackson trajectory no more, right? Chris Brown is, at this point, a C-list artist. And being a C-list artist, you know you can't afford no altercations. You know you can't afford to get blackballed and canceled again. Because right now, they're giving Chris Brown some grace, right? Right? You know, the Chris Brown apologists are on Twitter and social media giving him some grace. And that's been able to keep his career somewhat alive by a string the last couple years. But right now, Chris knows the narrative around his name. Bro, he can't be that, that unaware. He knows the narrative. He knows after yesterday, people think that he gave Usher the beats and the whoopings because Usher stopped him from berating the black woman. And then you trouble that up with his past history of domestic abuse, you will think that he will be chilling. You will think he'll be doing whatever he can to repair his public image at this moment in time. You will think he'll be the last person to get involved in another altercation. And it's crazy because Chris Brown was once a superstar, a megastar, Chris Brown was once the biggest artist on the planet, but he don't move like that, though. Like, he don't move like that, though. Like, where is his PR team? Where is his management? Where is his security? Where are the people who are going to protect Chris Brown from Chris Brown? Because he's not moving like it, though. Bro, if you wanted to really cause some issues, let's just say this, right? You are just a quote-unquote real street nigga. Let's ignore the fact that you've been a multimillionaire since 15 years old. Let's say this, man. Chris Brown a real street dude. And you really wanted to cause some issues. You telling me you couldn't get away? Like, like you couldn't say, you know what, bro? I'm going to do the meek meal. I'm going to stay inside the truck. I'm going to stay inside the van. I'm going to stay inside the sprinter bus and send the goons out to do my doing. Like meek meal did, right? <laughs> meek meal stayed in the sprinter bus. That's the Philly goons eviscerated and pummeled safari at the BT Awards. But we still give meek meal credit for that, though. Meek meal still got the credit for it. But he's not involved. He's not on camera. He can't be attached to it. He can't be sued. Yo, Chris Brown, bro, like, again, I'm sure you're rolling with some solid dudes who are well-respected, but let those dudes do their jobs. <laughs> like, let them do their job if that's what they're for, bro. Let them do their job, bro. Like, you don't got to continue to put yourself in this situation, bro. Like, we understand, like, you're tough. But let me know in the comment section, man, what y'all think about this, bro.